Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to mod the um, DAISY 415 scope and um, we're going to see if we can uh, make an adjustable uh, objective lens and um, maybe do something about the ambient light entering and um, convert it from a 4x to a 2x or from a 4x to a 6x on the power and um, one thing about these scopes is uh, usually the objective lens here is loose. If you can see down inside there, you can take something and turn that a little bit. And, and you're going to need to do that and make sure that that does turn. So uh, later on, you can bring the focus back in if you uh, change the power of it. So um, make sure that this isn't your only scope. Don't take it off your gun and mod this in case you mess it up. Um, I think I got this one at a yard sale for a dollar. So, you know, hit the yard sales or flea markets and um, just pick you up an extra scope. One that you can mess up and it's no big deal. But don't take the only scope you have and try this mod out. So, um, just keep that in mind. So, uh, there it is. Okay, guys. Um, let's begin by uh, disassembling the scope. So, um... First thing I do is I take my caps off and um, I'm going to back these screws out all the way and that way I can disassemble it a lot easier and um, just makes the whole thing so just back them off a little bit there we go and back this one off there we go all right And right there we got our two screws and we're going to pull out the erector tube. Now then, uh, be sure your screwdriver fits these screws here. Uh, don't strip them out or anything like that. Make sure they go in there real well and just back them out. Sometimes they might be tight to where you got to break them loose. But, and uh, let's get them out of there. There we go. All right. Now then I move up and take this off. So loosen up these screws right there and pull them out. Okay. There we go. All right. So we got this off there. Now what I do is I take one of these screws and put it back in the hole here. Now what that does is when I remove that erector tube it keeps it the spring in there and um, I want to be sure not to move this around I don't need this out right now so I put the screw in the hole there now then let's remove that one last screw all the way there we go all right and keep track of them little guys they'll they'll disappear on you so uh, if you happen to lose one one will be okay but just try to keep track of them. They're little screws. So I put this in here and just kind of wedge it back. There we go. See it come out there. And um, I pull this out just like that. All right. Now on this scope, I have a mark here. Now this mark lines up with this hole right here on the uh, adjustment to where when I put it back together, I can turn this whichever way I want. And that way I can always line that back up. So, right there is the alignment. So that's how I keep everything in line. So, pull this out. This is what we're going to deal with. And you can see our, uh, maybe you can see our spring in there, but I uh, don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little spring in there to push on the uh, erector tube here. Now, one important deal about this is making sure that this isn't glued. Now, in, on daisy scopes, it's really really not I just give it a turn a little bit and there it is so it just comes right off and just unscrew it and there we go now right there's our crosshairs if you can see them we don't want to mess with this we're done with this so don't put your finger in there or nothing you'll mess up your crosshairs so I just uh, take this like this and then take it loose like that. Alright, so 
We got lens down in there, right there at the end. That's fine, we'll leave that alone. This right here is our assembly. Now what I do is, on that lens that come out, which is right there, see if I can't mark it just a little bit. There we go. All right, so I marked it to where I know which way it goes in. Now, on these lenses, I really don't think it matters, but I mark them just in case. Right there's a little mark, and it faces out. It faces towards the uh, crosshair. So when I reassemble it, that's the way the lens is going to be orientated. Now then, so I set that aside, and right here is what we're dealing with. Now then, what I'm going to do is I've already started this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and uh, the way this thing went together was the lens went right up against this piece here. So the lens is here, and it went right up against it to where that's, that's how it needs to go back together. So let's see if we can um, go ahead and cut this one. And this one, we're also going to cut it, and I think it's an uh, inch and a quarter. Uh, yeah, an inch, 75, 275, or yeah, it's about an inch and a quarter. We're going to cut that at three quarters of an inch from the end. We're going to cut it right in here. So um, that's how we're going to do that. And what this will give us is a uh, adjustment for our power. It will change it from two power to six power relative on how we reassemble it. Okay, so... Um, I've got this little thing here, and this plastic is hard to cut. Let me see if I can see my mark. This plastic is extremely hard to cut, cut. so you got to be easy and patient with it. And, um, and just do the best you can. Um, there we go. Now it's locked in there. Let's start turning it. And get a line all the way around there. Tighten it up as you go. There we go. I don't know if you can see that line. Let's double check. We want about a half inch and about three quarters on one end. So that one, it's about three quarters, and this one is uh, about a half inch, so that's good. So uh, just keep on tightening it and turning it. So now I've got a razor. So once I get that line good and started, I can take this razor and put it in the groove and maybe cut through it. But it's it's real difficult to cut through this stuff. So um, let me see how that goes and and uh, start on this here and take that down and and this see uh, it's going to take quite a while to get through this. So okay, guys. Now this one right here was a bear to get through. Um, basically, I got my straight line to tell me that the ends are square, and I uh, just kept cutting, and then I took my razor here and just kind of rolled it back and forth on the table, and on this one, I'm doing the same process. It's a little easier because it's so long. This one was rough. I, it took me a while to get through that, so I'm just uh, taking my pipe cutter here and going around it, and then tightening it up a little bit, and hold it, and going around it again, and then... Um, I'm looking through there trying to see a line to, to kind of gauge how, how deep it's gone. So I'm just going through here and um, this is the whole process. So it, it takes a while to get through this stuff and I want it square. When I put it back together, I want it to be, um, you know, I want everything to line up right. So uh, I'm kind of seeing a line. I really don't. I really don't think it's deep enough, but I'm going to try it and see. So, and just kind of roll it back and forth in that line a little bit and see if I can get it through there. And um, there it is. There it is. Okay. So, I've got a little place now. It started. Uh, there, there we go. There we go. Just easy does it. So, uh, just start again. And this the little patience, so there we go. We want a nice cut, as, as good as you can get it. I mean, you know, um, we want the the cut to be square. And, um, oops. All right. 
there we go. All right, so we got this. So right here is our uh, lens that stayed in our rector tube, okay? And then we got our lens that come out, which is right here, okay? And then this part with the little hole in it right there goes up against the lens. And then this is the other part of that, of course. So right there's our original, how it come out originally. Now then, what we're going to do is, let's say we want to make this um, a six power. We'll remove this half inch piece right here, leaving the three quarter inch piece. So this is how it will go together, right there. That will make us a six power. Remember, that little hole will be touching the lens, so that, that always stays there. So um, that's our six power. So now let's put it back to four power. That's our four power. Now let's say that we want it to be um, a two power. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece here and place it right there. Okay. Remember that little hole stays against the lens all the time. And this is our assembly for our two power. So uh, that's basically how this is going to work. So let's reassemble this. And let's put it in here and let's put this one in here and this one if it'll if I can make it go and now for our lens remember that little mark I want the little mark facing me right now when I put it together so there it is let's take a little uh, screwdriver and get it straight in there if I can real quick, uh, sometimes this is difficult, but let's see here. There we go. All right, and then we take our little deal right here with a little hole in it facing towards the lens and stick that one in there. All right, so we got our assembly for a two power. Now this part right here, we'll screw back into it. We kept all our pieces so the depth is the same. So the tube, when, there we go, snug it down. The tube, when we assemble it, will still be right this way. So we got all our pieces now. We got them in there, and this is technically set for a two-power scope. So there's that part.